just in. Clinton law firm admitted the dossier funding. The report regarding the Trump dossier, for which Hillary Clinton campaign and the DNC paid the opposition research firm Fusion GPS, came just days before the company faced the possibility of it becoming public anyway, via Briet Bart. On October 4, the House Intelligence Committee subpoenaed Fusion GPS executives, as well as TD Bank, Fusion GPS's banking company to turn over its financial records, which would show who paid for the dossier research. Two Fusion GPS executives came to talk to the committee last week but decided to plead the fifth on every question. The company requested from a D.C. district court to revoke the subpoena for its financial records. TD Bank had a deadline until October 25 to respond to the subpoena, but the court prolonged the deadline to Friday morning. Perkins Coie the Clinton campaign law firm and the DNC that hired Fusion GPS, approved to Fusion GPS to disclose that it paid for the dossier research. Fusion GPS was hired through a lawyer, rather than directly, which created attorney-client privilege, that gave the law firm control over what Fusion GPS could disclose. On Tuesday, the general counsel for Perkins Coie wrote a letter to Fusion GPS that said, we recognize the important principle of client confidentiality, and we appreciate your efforts to fulfill your obligation to maintain client confidentiality. In the circumstances, however, we believe it is appropriate to release Fusion GPS from this obligation as it relates to the identity of Perkins Coie. It then outlined what Fusion GPS could disclose. The Clinton campaign and DNC scandal was first revealed to The Washington Post by people familiar with the matter. Kenneth P. Vogel of New York Times posted a tweet on Tuesday saying that he tried to report the same story as The Washington Post's, but, Marquis e. Elias, the Perkins Coie lawyer, denied it. When I tried to report this story, Clinton campaign lawyer at Marcellius pushed back vigorously, saying you, or your sources, are wrong he tweeted. Maggie Haberman of NY Times also tweeted, folks involved in funding this lied about it, and with sanctimony, for a year. The dossier contained bizarre allegations on Trump and has been generally dismissed as not reliable. Allegedly, the FBI used the dossier to obtain a surveillance warrant last summer against Carter Page, one of Trump's campaign aides, and acted as a roadmap for its investigation. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Comments.